goodness. For the rest of your life, Part of this is that she's hurt. And she's hurt for her sister. Mmm. 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 I would say at like I get like she's duly hurt. She's hurt because she loves him and she sacrificed her love for him for her sister. She because her sister wanted to be with him. She stepped away and she's like, go ahead. You you be with him. You do you boo. I'm just gonna support you. And then for him to cheat, he didn't just cheat on he didn't just break Eliza's heart. He also broke her heart because she loved everything about him, what he represented, who he was as a person, what he was doing, what he was trying to do, what his goals were. She loved him. And for excuse me, I got a lot of air coming out of places. Mm, sound like I farted. Well, I mean, people fart all the time. I didn't, but if I did, who cares? Nonetheless, back to this. It, it, I, I like I get why she's hurt. She's duly hurt and her heart is broken. My heart is broken. All of our hearts are broken. This is the saddest. I wouldn't say the saddest, but this definitely this musical made me cry so many freaking tears. I remember the rest of the videos that I reacted to. The artwork in this was amazing. I love it when they would do the because it's been a long time since I've been watching animatics, but I love with the tears were like white. The white it seemed kind of like they were crystal. Like everything else had one shade. And then tears came in and they were white and there was like a transparency to it that the shading and adding the white, the coloring, everything that the, the artist did to make it like that. And I think Zixua, Zixua did the same thing and it, it looked really, really good. And I think that Zixua, her artwork was amazing in this animatic and I was so lost in what was happening. There were texts that I didn't really get to read because I'm like watching and I'm listening. So I didn't, and they were kind of fast. But other than that, I freaking loved it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Oh, just re reminiscent, reminiscent of them Hamilton days. I miss it. I miss it. I do. I'm not going to lie. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, I'll, if you like this video, check out the link in the description box below to support Zixua. If you like th this video, hug the like for, oh, I don't know why I can't talk. Out of that like button. <laughs> don't forget also, get your very own buddy bear beanie down below in the com description box, not the comment section. Goodness, Christine. I love you guys. As always, and until next time, buddies. Toodle. Hey, buddies. It's your friendly neighborhood baby AY here. Just to let you know that you can get your very own buddy bear baby over at cafe.com forward slash iChristine. They're limited edition for this holiday season. So if you want to get them, you got to get them fast. That's cafe.com forward slash iChristine. Hey buddies, it's your guy Christina and today we are checking out My Dead Gay Son. This is the next song in the Heather's animatic, but this video I found, I'm really excited to actually see this one. This is a Hamilton Heather's crossover animatic, so you will see characters from the Hamilton universe in here, so I'm really excited to see what, what we're, what's gonna, you know, all this stuff are gonna happen. We know how we left off where JD, and you guys corrected me, thank you for letting me know, it's that he's, he's just so twisted in his love for Veronica that he feels like what he's doing is the right thing. This is the way that you take care of your woman. Anybody messes with them, you murder them, and you trick your girl into doing it, you know? So I feel like I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Homie's twisted. So we're going to see what happens next um, in My Dead Gay Son. Link for this video in the description box below for you to check out. Let's get started. Oh, this is by Taco the Human. If I didn't say that already. I think I did, but I don't know. All right, let's go. You wait just a minute, Paul. Okay. It's ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place our boys could not live in. Oh. They were not dirty. They were not dirty. here it, his formal bandana. Oh, in the Lord's great so they did the have the letter, well, yes, so they think that the sons died, um, think that they were in love and died that way. I want the world to know. Dear, is he supposed to be like Lawrence? Okay. What? What's what's why? A oh, oh, I again. Let me know down below. Okay. And I believe it's all a part of his gigantic 
Okay. okay. I know God has a reason All right. for each mountain and each random flower. flower. And why he chose to let our boys get busy in the show. Whoa, okay, that's very uh very specific. Alright. They were not fruits. Okay. They were just two straight laces in the Lord's Oh, I like that he is like He like this is what they are and I love that. Okay, I'm glad you love him, but like, I, I do, okay, listen, I feel like, yes, you should love your son, but I just feel like the way you're approaching the situation, I mean, he did pass away, but like, I love my dead gay son, that's kind of like, that's a bit abrasive, I feel, you know, let me know down below, I just feel like you should say, I love my son, and he's, he, you know, he's gay, I love my, my gay son who passed away, I feel like there's better ways to say, my dead gay son, I just feel like that phrasing is just, Harsh, like rough. Yeah, rough. By the pool, the cherubim okay. walk him and him, and Jesus says it's cool. Okay. They don't have crime or hatred. There's no bigotry. All or right. Lesson. Just friendly fellows dressed up like their favorite village person. Village person? Oh, like the YMCA the people? people? The village they people? Had All right. They were too bright, red ribbons in the Lord's I like his. Vision, like his visuals of them? Dude, what the heck? He was reaching for his gun? Okay. Alright. Okay. Dog life. Alright. Okay. Oh. In the summer of that was one hell of a fish and Oh, oh. They had a moment. Oh, okay. Whoa. Alright. Whoa. How ironic is that? Oh my goodness. And of course the Vila Rides. Right? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, dabbing. Dabbing in heaven. Oh, so he's like with them too now. Okay. That's good. Oh, happy little bear cubs. Go forth and love each other. Yes. Aww. Aww. But it's Hamilton and who's the other guy? Is that the actual character from the Heathers? Oh, goodness. Aww. Oh, and they're like back at it. Woo! Thank you for watching. I loved it. I thought that the. Oh my goodness, I love the song that they made, even though I felt like the phrasing of that was a bit extreme, but I think the irony of the fact that the sons were not gay, they were, you know, faux, mur well they were actually murdered, but they were, you know, framed as being gay, and then the, their fathers actually had a moment together that was a really nice moment for them, and I, I know that it's twisted J what JD's doing, but it's kind, this situation kind of brought to light a, a, a situation that a lot of people are going through where being the, or loving who you love can cause a rift and having that conversation being had between other people like hey it's not that that's their situation that's the way they live it has nothing to do with me so for me to want to lift up my gun is doesn't make any sense to shoot them down and you know figuratively all right figuratively and uh, literally because I'm sure that's happened and that's unfortunate. But to bring up the conversation where people can discuss and talk about it and realize that it's not that bad, you know, it's not a bad thing. Like people are like, oh, it's really, really bad. You know, the, the rift. Although nowadays, it's, I feel like it's not as bad as it used to be. And that's showing a progressive, a progression in the American psyche and the world along. And I think that the song kind of taps into that, how people were and how they are changing. A lot of people are.